Here's a little inspiration for your next picnic. I'm going to make a speck and kaolette galette. It's so delicious and super easy to make. And the best thing about it is I'm only going to use one pan for not only cooking all the delicious ingredients, but I'll also use it to form a delicious galette, which is going to be baked in the oven. Now I've been preheating my pan. It's on a medium heat. I'll add some extra virgin olive oil. Just a small glug of extra virgin olive oil because a lot of the fat is going to render from the speck that I'll be using. So in with leeks. And you could use some onion for this if you like. I just like the sweetness of the leeks and they cook down nicely for this galette. Okay. While that's cooking away, some speck. So I'll just cut a chunk off this one. And speck has been smoked and you can see it comes from the belly. So you've got a little bit of the fat there. I love it with leek, it just works so nicely. So we're just going to cut it into lardons and lardons are almost like little matchsticks of bacon. So we get a beautiful savoury and salty element to this dish. And if you didn't want to use speck, bacon is a fantastic substitute. So in with the speck now. And we'll give this a toss. And what I love about this pan is you can see it's high side. So it is a fry pan, but it also acts as like a wok. So you get a nice, even heat there. Okay, we can add some kaolettes now. Kaolettes are a combination of Brussels sprouts and kale. And if you can't make your mind up on which one to use, then this is the perfect vegetable. I love them because they're nutty and sweet. And look at that gorgeous purple tinge that's on the leaves there. So I'm just gonna cut these in half because they will wilt down quite substantially. So any of the big ones cut, if they're really small like that, I'll just leave them whole. And you just run your knife through a few of them. So we want about 160 grams of the kaolettes. Pop them in. I also want to use the stalk of some parsley. I just don't want it to waste and it is a lovely addition. So in with the parsley and we'll use the leaves later on once this mixture is cooled down. A very small pinch of salt because the speck is salty enough. Freshly cracked pepper. And then we'll toss everything together. Now it looks like a lot of ingredients, but the vegetables are going to cook down. And while the speck fat is rendering down and the vegetables are cooking, I'm gonna get onto the pastry. Now I've pre-made my pastry. This is a sour cream pastry. I use the sour cream instead of the butter, and this recipe is going to be online. If you didn't want to make your pastry, by all means, you could use a store-bought short crust. It will also work really nicely for this. So two pieces of baking paper. And I always find it much easier to roll my pastry between two pieces, just for extra assurance so it doesn't stick. So we'll pop the disc down, and I just use the palm of my hand just to spread it out. And this has to fit in my pan. Now my pan is 28 centimetres, so we want to roll it out quite substantially so it fits and also drapes around the sides. I've rolled out the sour cream pastry, a large, rough, round circle, and you can see that it's much larger than my pan. That's what we're after. So I'll just keep that covered for a moment while we finish our mixture to go into the galette. So over here, I've just been cooling the speck mixture, and into this, I'll add a few tablespoons of fresh ricotta, just to give it a really nice, delicate consistency. So I'll add one, two, three and mix that up. To this, I'll also add a pinch of nutmeg and the rest of that parsley, I'm just going to just wrap up, scrunch up together and just roughly chop it. This is a rustic pie, so nothing has to be perfect in it. It's just got to taste really, really good, which it will. One last stir. 
Okay, that's evenly distributed, so let's start making the galette. So we'll get our pan. It is actually non-stick, but I'm actually going to use the baking paper too, and that's going to make it so much easier to demold. So in with our pastry. And what we're trying to do is just nestle it in. We'll now add our mixture and cover it completely. Great. And spread that out nice and evenly. And I love buffalo mozzarella. So one ball of mozzarella and we're just going to tear that just into that delicious ricotta mixture, almost nestle it in. So you can imagine when this cooks in the oven, this is going to melt, so there'll be pops of mozzarella. And now we're just going to take the sides of the galette and really roughly just fold it on itself just to the centre. And by doing that, we're going to form a really lovely crust. And the beautiful thing about this is usually when you do a galette, you would just free form it onto a flat tray. But by having this 28 centimetre pan, we're getting that perfect shape, that desirable shape that we want for the galette. So happy with the way that looks. Finally, just some egg wash. This is just one egg with some water. I'm going to brush this all over the pastry. And then this goes into the oven, 175 degrees. And this is going to cook for about 40 minutes or until the pastry is golden brown. And I do recommend cooking this on the lower shelf you've got so we get a really nice colour on the base of this too. pleased with how this galette has turned out. You can see how perfect that pastry is looking. Now do allow it to cool completely in the pan and this is where the baking paper comes into play. We can take it out in one fell swoop. And I think I should cut into this just to show you how beautiful it looks with the filling. So straight down the centre. You can serve this warm, which is what I'm doing, but it's fantastic cold too. Oh wow, look at that gooey mozzarella, the perfect addition to this little freeform pie. That with a side salad, maybe some rocket if you like, or you know what, just as is, it's super delicious.